So let's start the work again with our project. And right now I'm using the layers. Yes, in Lumen we also have the layers and just use it to place some models. For example, all natural things I will put on the layer number two. And now I will start placing my trees around the my site. So as you can see, we have like different uh, types how we can place our models like randomize as I, as I can, uh, as you can see right now I'm using it. Or you just can place one by one. No, don't no worries about that. Uh, we can delete everything later on. Just place some trees. And try to make it uh, a bit randomized and with different, uh, for example, the size, rotation, and for example, of the height. So delete some of them and make it a bit more natural. And add some special trees. The special trees, it's biggest one or some uh, special one. That means uh, it will be only one on the side. So it will makes your your render more realistic. So as you know that, of course. Uh, once you will finish place the trees. So let's start work with our other side. Right now I will place some bushes on the my side around the my around my uh, building so don't push it uh, don't place it uh, around whole your side just push it uh, place it somewhere where you will uh, make some renders for example if you will concentrate your render on facade so try to make it only around your facade where you will do the render don't do it everywhere once you will finish it of course you should save it don't forget save your project after that i will place some more nature so let's start to use the rocks i will use the biggest one because we should now make our surface it's more interesting because my field it's uh, so flat and it's really boring so by this way as you can see just I'm placing the rock and after that I'm changing the size rotation and of course I'm changing the height of that you can create more interesting your um, landscape uh, with some let's say design or it's m looking more natural because uh, all our site around the world it's never will be so flat as you can see on the right side of the my of the my model and of course if you will use only that type of the rocks it will be so boring that's why i'm using the other one type of the rocks and i'm trying put it everywhere as you can see even i'm using the brush with randomize and after that just play around make diff make it different i mean the, for example the size rotation even the height and play it and try and make it interesting as you can see here it was interesting place and i'm just placing one rock the second one and just put it everywhere like this will be a bit small this is will be a bit high and you will create some interesting place like for example this is a really a rock side of the my of the my building uh, landscape so we did it and after that i'm just looking from the eye view because the my camera will be work from the eye view and i'm trying to find uh, the uh, not so um, presentable place as you can see here is my entrance road with the entrance and I really have not really uh, presentable place and uh, I thinking like if I will place here some rocks it will be make my um, field my entrance more interesting for the for the human eye so just try play with the different rocks now uh, once we, uh, I will finish the place uh, this the, like say basic rocks I'll try to make with different rocks and as you can see it's uh, going more and more interesting okay once you will finish place the rocks let's start the put here the some bushes bushes will make our nature more more nature because uh, our field uh, you not will see straight away only the empty field you will see here the rocks you will see here the bushes as, and, and as you can see now rocks with bushes looks like it's real some mountain place or it's not mountain maybe some around the mountain and I just placing right now as you can see the small rocks but be careful with that because some of the rocks as you can see now top of the my building so <laughs> this is not so cool just uh, keep in mind the some uh, when you're using the randomized uh, brush it's can be around on the your lens uh, landscape so uh, again I'm saving so don't forget about it always saving it doesn't matter which your program we are using because this is really really matter 
Now the time work with the other side, so the right side of the, my entrance road. I will do pretty same things, just put some the main rocks, basic rocks, and after that put some the bushes, and if you want you can place some different other rocks. So that's it. So this is the secret how to make more realistic. Now I'm placing some uh, main uh, trees inside my side, so main trees is why it's main, because this is special trees when you will act your camera view that's it and now I think it's mo most interesting thing I'm going back to the Revit and I'm changing the surface of the sum of the part of the my wall why I'm doing that I'm changing the surface I'm changing the material of the surface as you can see I'm dividing the my uh, wall and now I'm using the plaster again as you can see it doesn't have any difference but now I can use the ifs so now you can use if and uh, make your Site more more uh, nature as you can see like uh, we can say our building it's echo building so and just play around with the settings and we will get pretty nice result as you can see on the all the site where I changed the material and applied this if so now as you can see if we're going around uh, my site everything looking pretty well now we can switch to the other parts of the my building. And yes, now it's time for the place, the car. As you can see, I changed the layer. Now it's layer number two and I switched it off the My Nature because uh, my PC is not extremely good. And that's why uh, I wanna keep uh, the powerful from the My PC and I switched the uh, layer with the My Nature. Now, as you can see, I'm placing the car. I'm trying to place the smallest car because actually this is building what I created. It's uh, for Japanese. Uh, Japanese don't using the biggest American cars. So so let's make it the uh, let's say the black one. Let's place uh, even that one. This is more smaller than previous one. And yes, now it looks like uh, more more realistic I can say uh, just switch it off the people inside the car to make it more better and let's go to the lights because we should put some delights uh, don't forget the evil in detail you should put some small details to make your render more realistic we're not trying to make it like in life I mean like in real life we're trying to make it pretty well to get everything from the your render so i mean your idea your design idea how it will be look like in nature so that's it don't try to make it like in real life now times uh, for some detail in uh, on the our landscape so we can put like mailbox we can put the sign boards we can put like uh, the road bump so that's it all these three things yeah it's not a lot but this uh, pretty enough to make it more our field interesting now we will put some details also like drainage uh, also like the uh, swag systems uh, and that's it uh, i think it's pretty enough to make it uh, more uh, more adorable I can say so uh, let's go back to the my site and we will work now with the back, back, backyard we will put like BBK we will put like uh, the some coaches uh, maybe some tables with the coffee on the table yes who want to get the coffee on own yard um, on the own back backyard sorry not yard just backyard and of course as I said here is our table and here is our cup of the coffee that's it so this enough details so now we will go back uh, to the uh, barbecue part uh, yeah don't forget the spoon in this really main part and as you can see I'm going here to detail like I'm trying to make uh, here the some vegetables on the, uh, our plates why because the my camera I planning to put my camera around this place so that's why all the small details will make my uh, capture really interesting then it will be just for example BBK think about details but not everywhere only where will be uh, your camera so my camera will go around here it will be more make it everything more interesting now it's time for interior part so of course you should place here some coach or benches uh, just choose what you want for example uh, do of course about the color don't forget you I cannot use for example red color yellow colors in one place um, but um, we can use the something monochromic for the my 
for the my style I pretty like monochromic style so place everything again I'm placing only in this room because my camera will go only in this room true on, on this room so it means uh, I don't want to put everything around uh, all my building I as you know we have two stories two stories it will be a pretty long time to place everything really interesting but we can concentrate only on one room that makes uh, reasonable because you will get camera only in one room yeah, don't forget guys, uh, this is uh, not uh, like tutorial what you should follow one by one. I'm just showing how you can do that. As you can see, I'm not professional, but I am sharing with you with my knowledge and with my skills. If you want to see all the process, you will find the link below for the full video. Full video, it's more than one hour, but without any my comments, you just can follow it. So just if you want to follow it, go to, to the below and you will find the link. So right now I'm going back to the my landscape because I forgot the some uh, put the some cars on the my road. We want to make our road more interesting. And one thing more. As you can see, the opposite side of opposite road, we don't have anything. So let's put there some trees, some bushes to just close my view from the uh, from the my side. Uh, why I mean the closed? Because when my camera will uh, going around my building, I don't want to see what's going on uh, after this road. So that's why we will try to close this view. As you can see now, I'm using again randomize, and right now I'm using also randomize uh, the um, elements. And now I'm placing like different trees, and I'm trying to make it more closely. Because again, when my camera will go around, I don't want to see true of them. Like you can see now, I'm experimenting how uh, I want to close the my view I'm trying different trees and as you can see this is pretty enough to get a really nice uh, model with pretty enough the elements so in the next tutorial we will continue already work only with the camera don't forget guys this is uh, tutorials have the two parts first part this is fast my comments without anything just you can see the process with the only main things like here I'm doing that one and the other part I'm doing that one and that's it and also you will find right now you can go to the my channel and you will see here is the second video full process without any comments with some chill out music uh, some light chill out music so you not will be you become angry of that uh, and it's one hour one hour full process with all mistakes with everything i'm not cutting there anything so you can see the whole process how it's really working on my side so i think i hope you will appreciate that because uh, i'm trying uh, to share with you this whole process uh, actually i don't like for example use the stream for that because there I'm, i should concentrate on the work and i should speak with you mm, on that part you can see everything with um, when i'm concentrating on the model thank you guys for watching and see you next time